Just got over to Hawkins Community Pool now. I didn't realize how busy the street, because this is like a public pool, obviously, but uh, this is Hawkins Community Pool. This is where they filmed all the season three stuff. I'll insert pictures and stuff of everything that went down here. Pretty cool to see. I wonder if they, they had to have closed off this whole road because there's no way they shot something with all that noise in the background. But yeah, Hawkins Community Pool right here, really cool. And I was told that the studio that they film in is really close to here. And I guess supposedly you can see if it, maybe that's it over there. I don't know, but after we walk around here a little bit, I'm definitely gonna go check that out because that seems really awesome. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to get in here, but I'm pretty sure right here is where Billy was like turning on, you know, Karen Wheeler and the other chicks that she was with and stuff. And I think Billy was coming this way. He was over here and that one fat kid in the show when he was yelling like, when he was calling him a lard ass and stuff. I think that's where that happened. This is really badass though, seeing the in the pool. Yeah, I think the studio might be right over there. I don't know. Yeah, this is really cool to see. Really wish we could get in, but it's obviously closed for the season. So yeah, I really wish there was a way to get in, but I don't think there is. But I'll see what we can see just through these doors in here. Good Lord. So this is probably as close as I'm gonna get, but that's... So yeah, right in there, it's hard to get it to focus because of the fence, but that's where all the scenes where Max and um, Eleven went in there, was looking for the lifeguard and stuff, the missing lifeguard. All that was shot right in here. I don't know where the bathroom is when, when Billy went all crazy. Oh, here's a good shot of this right here. So yeah, this is the area where the Hawkins Community Pool, the phone location is located. So now we're gonna go try to find their studio and see all the shit we can see there. So here's the studio right here. You can't really see a whole lot, but we're driving by it. So up on this hill is probably the best view we're going to get of the studio because that's it right over there. Over there is the set that they built for the show. Right over there and right in the studio. That's like the back of their sets. That could be their new downtown Hawkins set or something like that. I don't exactly know. But this is the, this is the best view we're probably going to get. Here's a better view of it right here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this is probably the best view we're gonna get of the sets in the studio. 
So we're in the neighborhood now where everybody's house is, and I definitely wanted to check it out because I've never seen any of those locations until this trip. This is the Wheeler house, obviously. Super, super cool. Um, all of the outside shots were filmed at this actual house, but all the interior um, footage, I believe, was in the studio. So here's the Wheeler house. Super, super cool. Yeah, I kind of feel sorry for I can't imagine how much trouble the people that actually live here have to deal with stuff because people do live in these houses, but they only use the exterior of the actual house in the show. As you can see, they got cameras literally everywhere. And over there is obviously where Steve climbed up to Nancy's room and all that stuff. I'm sure that actual roof was used for that. And as you can see, all these no trespassing signs all over the property. But yeah, this is really cool. And the other houses are down the road. Yeah, right over here is the Sinclair house. So this is where Lucas lives and um, his family. So they're really close to each other almost exactly right next to each other so yeah that's really cool obviously lots of scenes were filmed around here got all the no trespassing signs and all that stuff And it, I'm assuming it was the same same deal here where uh, where they only use the outside of the house, like the actual house, and then the interior, all the interior shots of the house were in a studio. I'm, I think it was like that for all of the houses. And then, yeah, the Henderson house is down the road a little bit, but as you can see, here's the road. Lots of scenes, obviously, were filmed on this road. And I'm not sure if they, I'm actually curious to know if they used any of the houses again for season five. Because obviously, you know, being back at, they're going to be back in Hawkins the whole time in season five. So I'm wondering if they use the actual houses for the fifth season as well. forgot to mention right next to it is the Holland house right next to the Sinclair house completely missed that before I got back in the car here but yeah that's that's the Holland house that's a Sinclair house really really cool so right here is the Henderson house this is where Dustin lives so yeah right here Henderson house really cool this is a pretty cool neighborhood all the, the roads and stuff this one's kind of hard to get pictures so yeah, Henderson House right there, and then here's the surrounding area where obviously everything in the background and stuff was shot at in this whole neighborhood here. And this has a no trespassing sign too, so I don't know what that's all about. Because it's literally just a field. Maybe something was shot there, I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen season one.